This is Daniel Ricardo, and this is 365 Days of Sport. Hey, I'm back. Beefy, 365 Days of Sport. Have you missed me? Judging by our Facebook numbers, I don't think you have. But, uh, yeah, what am I doing? Just an update, really. Um, I'm still trekking around Victoria looking at sports. Here's a quick look at what I did last weekend. Friday night, I was down at Dandenong for slot car racing. Yeah, get out the old scale electrics and uh, have a whiz round. But they also do uh, slot car drags as well. Uh, absolute fly down the old uh, 25 metre straight. And then Saturday, Saturday, where was I? I was at the Dash and races. At the Hop House in South Bank in Melbourne, raising money for Dash and Rescue. These girls get behind Dash and Rescue. They uh, they rescue one Dash and every day and rehouse them to a new family. The track's only 15 metres long, but uh, God, the little guys love to have a good run. And uh, yeah, loads of people there as well. How funny was it? Just look at them go. After having a swift orange juice, remember, I'm still off the beer. Gout, it's a killer. I went down to Cheltenham for disc golf, that's right, frisbee golf, get a frisbee, chuck it as far as you can, aim for the bin thing, and Bob's your uncle. Yeah, I love the uh, disc golf, we went out to the Vic Open a while ago, and we did a show out there, all that time ago, and uh, yeah, fantastic, and I hope disc, grow, disc golf continues to grow, it's uh, yeah, get out and about sport, I love it. And I went roller derbying. We did another show at the roller derby a while ago, and uh, yeah, still big crowds, still lots of interest. And uh, Victoria were actually hosting the girls from Western Australia in a in a massive free for all. I still haven't got a clue what's going on. You kind of get through the pack and race around and score points, and they try and biff you out the way. And uh, yeah, but roller derby. Good to see the girls out on skates banging each other or banging into each other, I should say. Uh, I've done that joke before. Um, yeah, roller derby it still fascinates me, and I'm. Glad to see the girls can get out. Oh, obstacle yeah. course racing. This one was like a, a seven kilometre trek over lots of uh, obstacles. There was barbed wire. There was no uh, electrocutions in this one like the like you see in some of the others. And then I went up to Broadford, about an hour north of Melbourne, for a motorcycle uh, meeting. There was uh, your normal run of the mill bikes, but there was also the sidecars. Now that's what I was there to see sidecars. They were a small field, but uh, magnificent sea guys hanging onto the back of sidecars at 150 miles an hour down the street. I just I can't believe these blokes do it. Next door to Broadford, uh, the racing circuit is a dirt track surface. So I went next door and I had a look at the dirt, tra dirt trackers go at it. It's like Speedway, but a bit bigger, and there's a whole host of different bikes, but it's good fun to see that uh, it was a 12 man final, I think, and the, they had a good race around. Didn't see too many crashes, but. Uh, Good to see the dirt trackers going at it, and that was kind of the end of my weekend. I'm trying to set this world record for the most number of sports seen in a 365 day period. Uh, just hit 271. By the end of this, October 22nd, I should hit in between 305, 310, anywhere in between that, and that will be a world record. It'd be great to be able to set a Guinness world record. I'd love to do that, but I do need your help. Just on the top of the website, 365daysofsport.com, there is a donate button. Click that and it'll go through. Any help would be really, really appreciated. I'd love some support. That would be fantastic. Uh, in the meantime, on Saturday, it's the AFL Grand Final. It is Sydney versus the Western Bulldogs. Now, I'm not going to be there. Why? Because I'm going to see more for the Seymour Show. I'm going to go and see Tug of War, Paper Plane Throwing, uh, the Dog High Jump and Mobility Scooter Racing. Yes, that's what I'm doing on Saturday. But if you're a Western Bulldogs fan, you see this shirt here. Good on the Western Bulldogs for making a final. First time in 50 years, by the way. If you are a Western Bulldogs fan, I have this shirt. Because I'm chasing money, I am prepared to let this go. If you want a Western Bulldogs jersey signed by Brad Johnson, please, please get in touch. It's a large sign. It's a large cougar from the actual Western Bulldogs club. Um, yeah, just get in touch with me through the Facebook page and make me an offer. That would be brilliant. So that's it from me, Beefy. Please keep everything sporting. Get out to see your local club or get out and do something different. Get active.